Hey guys, what's up? This is Zach from Rocket Zero, and this video is gonna be like a little uh, montage, I guess, of quick little tutorials. Um, there's gonna be five, and these are all really good, like, concepts that you can adjust and use for yourself. So this one is a double piston extender. It's very easy. You're just gonna need two pistons, put them like that, a block that you're gonna push. Uh, you're going to want to delay the first repeater by one and the second repeater all the way and then a single uh, redstone going into the block and it's going to go like that and it's going to pull it all back. Now this one is a vertical double piston extender. It's the same concept just the wiring is a little more difficult because you're building vertically. So piston piston block and then we're going to build a little stairway like that. And that is going to be the power block. And you're going to put a repeater delayed all the way and then a redstone. Then we're going to put another repeater here with one tick delay and then a piston in the ground and a block on top of it. And you're going to make this weird uh, tetrisy shape and put a repeater in the middle and delay it one tick. And then you're going to put a block, a uh, redstone dust on that other block that you saw earlier. And it's going to be a little funky at first, but once you do it once, it'll uh, set all the blocks into place and it'll work very well. And you can use a lever or a button depending on if you want it to retract automatically or not. So that's a pretty, pretty simple little build, a little more confusing. There's a final go around of what it should look like. Uh, this is a T flip flop. Uh, I don't know who gave it that name, but it basically turns a button into a lever. So you see, I hit the button and the lamp stays on until I hit the button again and it turns off. Um, so we're going to build the two blocks like that and with a hole in the ground, a repeater coming off of the block, piston in the ground, block on top of it, two redstone dusts, a repeater and then a piston like that. And don't forget to put a redstone torch in the hole and then our power is going to go off of there. And this block right here is our power source block. So you can put a button or you can uh, link it together with another uh, redstone trail and make power going into that block and it'll work the same way. Now this one works really well uh, paired with the T flip flop. So this redstone torch will work as a button so you can branch these two together and have like a hidden uh, trigger for the T flip flop. If you saw my uh, hidden chests video, uh, that's pretty much what we did there. Well, that's exactly what we did there. Now, this one has a weird shape to build for the wiring. Make sure you take that block out and add that block. Otherwise, it won't work. It's really weird. But uh, so this is the basic sort of shape. Now we're just going to work on the wiring. You're going to need a torch, redstone repeater, dust, dust, and a redstone repeater here going into that block. And then put a dust on that block. And that's the block that you would link the T flip flop to. You, I just put that torch there to get it, uh, the piston in place and it works just fine. Now this is, I'm calling this an A, B, B, A switch. So we hit the lever, A comes on, B comes on, but then B goes off and then A goes off. So it basically like reverses the order in which things turn on and off. I have a tutorial coming out in a couple weeks uh, where this comes in handy very well. So we just shrunk it down here. We just used, uh, instead of two pistons or two repeaters, we used one. So we're just going to build a basic shape uh, with two blocks in the middle. This is for the, uh, these are the blocks. So the first one that I placed is the A, we're going to call that A, and the second one is going to be B. And then this one is our power block. So from the power block, we're going to put a trail going to the A block. And then we're going to go from the power block to that block, to the B block, and then from the B block to the A block. It sounds confusing, it's really easy though. Once you understand the concept, you can adjust it to however you want. And A is gonna come on, then B, and then B is gonna turn off, and then A. So there you go. Uh, thanks for watching. 
Have a good day. See you later.